Hi, I'm Kirsty Meekin from Nail Nails. In this video, we're going to do the full look, which means we're going to do at least five nails so you get the whole idea of the full look. We're going to do a tatty teddy, we're going to do a mitten, and we're also going to do some knitted nails. Hope you enjoy it. So for this design, we're going to do all five fingers so you get the full look of this design. First of all, we're going to apply Pink Caddy, which is the Urban Graffiti Gel Polish. I'm going to do a full nail on the ring finger. I don't need to base it because we're going directly onto an acrylic extension. I'm going to do a full nail on this index finger as well. On the little finger we're going to do a French free edge, a nice smile line. We're going to do a full nail on the thumb. So with the number zero brush I'm going to use this to paint a mitten shape. The thumb. So we keep it nice and thin, we're going to do two coats of this. And they can go into the lamp and be cured in the LED lamp for one minute. Second coat, still capping the edge. You can always use a smaller brush to get it a little bit neater. And oh, they can go into the lamp and be cured in the LED for one minute. And we're going to use <laughs> Mr. Grey now. I'm going to pop a little bit onto a bit of foil just so I can control it a little bit easier. With the grey, we are going to Paint the face of Tatty Teddy. So this is going to be your main colour for his face. I'm only doing one ear. This one will be covered by a little hat. So we'll pop that into the lamp, cure that for one minute. Using the gel residue soak off solution, we're just going to wipe off the sticky layer on the one that's going to have the little Tatty Teddy on and the one with the mitten on. Because I'm going to paint with acrylic paint on there, a little bit of white and a little bit of black. I'm just going to mix a grey. This grey needs to be slightly darker than this grey. I'm just going to paint his little patch. Now I want a lighter grey. And paint where his nose and mouth are. Adding a bit more grey to the lighter grey just to deepen it slightly so I can add a little bit of shading. Just adding a little bit of texture to his face with little tiny strokes. I'm going to use the white now, a tiny bit of water, just to highlight the edges. With the black, I'm going to do the little stitches for holding his patch on. A little eyebrow there. It's got some little stitch marks here. It's got two little eyes. They're quite close together. 
and I'm just going to make a dark grey again and I can do all these, like, these little tatty bits of fluff of his fur so I've just got a little bit of blue paint just lightening that up a little bit so we can do his little cold nose Just going to add a tiny bit more colour to his nose and a tiny bit of white for a little shine on his nose. Because we've done it directly on top of the gel, if there's anything on there you don't want, you want to knitting up like I, have, like I am now, you can just scratch that away. This is where is going to have a little fluffy hat. I'm just putting this there so I know where it's going to go. You could just leave it like that, but I'm going to make it textured. Just 